So today we've got a little bit of a change of pace. We're gonna start out the workout with two rounds of this little circuit here. So we're going for time, reverse lunges. We'll do 30 seconds, down dog shoulder taps, 30 seconds. And then we'll do a scissor jack, 30 seconds for two rounds. Then we got three rounds of RDL and a bridged floor press. It's just a uh, press with the dumbbells, but from a bridge position. And then we've got three rounds, as many reps as possible for each squat with a press, with a horizontal press and elevated push-ups. All you'll need is your dumbbells for that. And then we've got two to three rounds of our five point death stars. That sounds terrible. Uh, we can actually, you can stretch that out to four rounds if you've got more time. Um, this one probably will go a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna go through a brief warm up. Since this circuit's gonna serve almost as a dynamic warm up, we're not gonna do a whole lot. We'll start with our runner stretch. So just opening up, sinking that back knee to the ground. Pressing that knee out. I'll show you from this side so you get a better angle. So I'm sinking my hips to my heel and then I'm opening this knee out. You can do a little contract and relax, squeezing the butt tight and then relax, squeeze the butt tight, relax. Do a minute on each side, minimum. And then from there, I'm gonna have you go to a high plank. You're gonna press up to a down dog. Press up until you feel a big pull in the back of the legs, and then back to a high plank. So press up, we're gonna hold that for a second. Back to a high plank. Just give me 15 to 20 of those transitions, and then we're just gonna go right into the circuit. So 30 seconds for each exercise. Reverse lunge to start. Just dropping the knee back sinking the back knee down. If you're having a lot of issues with that, grab onto something and grab onto your couch for balance. Anything like that will work. Then after your 30 seconds, we'll go immediately to the down dog shoulder tap. So for these, go ahead and get in the down dog position. We're gonna tap back and forth. Try not to rock your hips. Keep everything as still as possible beside your arms. Just reaching across, tapping. And then the scissor jack requires a little bit of coordination. And go back and forth with the feet and back and forth with the hands. So we've got two rounds for that. And then straight into the first superset. So if you've got dumbbells, you're basically trying to drag those knuckles all the way down your shins. Make sure those hips are getting back and the back is staying flat. Pretend you got a rod of iron running down your back so everything stays stiff. The only thing different between this and the regular dumbbell press is we're pressing the hips up like a glute bridge or holding that position. If you wanna make the bridge floor press a little more difficult, add another element to it, do an alternating press. Just one arm at a time. One arm's gonna stay over the chest the whole time. And remember, you can always slow the move down if you've got lighter weights and they're trying to get a little more load out of it without increasing weight. If your shoulders feel like they're digging into the floor, it's uncomfortable, just adjust your, your uh, elbows to where it feels better. So if it feels better pulling them in, pull them in a little tighter and see if that makes a difference. Next part. So this is the second superset. It's going to be a squat with a horizontal press. So we're going to squat, press out, back in and up. Squat, hold that, press. Put, uh, break it up into two separate movements so you're not like this. We're going to squat first, press, back in, then up. If you're having issues with those, you can always squat to a couch. Do your press that way. That'll take some pressure off the knees. But this is going to work the core a lot. you got to keep this firm so that the weight doesn't pull you over at the bottom. Then our elevated push-ups. We're just gonna use your dumbbells to elevate. You're grabbing on to them. If it's really bothering your hands, you can just do a standard push-up without them. But by elevating, we get a little more stretch in the chest. You can do these from the knees as well. Makes it a little easier. Either one will work. All right, for the last part, 
or foul point death stars. So you're gonna start from a plank position, a low plank, from the forearms, so we're gonna tap, tap, dip, dip, dolphin, tap, tap, three, four, five. So that's my five points right there. So we're gonna go through that circuit or that complex as many times as possible in 30 seconds.